Good morning. And, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> this episode brought to you by Folgers. Not a sponsor. Hashtag just a fan. Good morning, and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Today, uh, I thought it would be interesting to talk about nostalgia. Um, everybody's favorite social media hashtag. Nostalgia is a funny thing for me because I'm sort of of two minds about it. Um, on the one hand, nostalgia is this thing that's like, it's almost like junk food, right? Like, it's a really quick and sort of easy way to kind of make yourself feel good. Um, it really uh, kind of will take you to a certain point in your life that you really enjoyed and, and kind of wraps you in that feeling of warmth. Um, and I think it can be a positive thing sometimes because it's nice to look back at periods of your life that maybe, you know, when you're living them, you don't see sort of the good, the sort of rosy um, parts of it. But then when you when you look back on it, you sort of see all the, the nice stuff that was there, maybe the simplicity of it. I think nostalgia is really marked by this feeling of, oh, you know, I just miss the simpler times. Um, and nostalgia is something that I've been experiencing a lot lately um, because I've been under, you know, a certain amount of stress. And so one of the things that I think my brain likes to do is when I'm under a certain amount of stress, it really likes to reminisce about, you know, what I perceive to be simpler times. Like, I've been thinking a lot about when I was sort of a freshman in college and, you know, I didn't have to worry about <laughs> paying my rent or, you know, where my next meal was going to come from because I was living in a dorm and I had a meal plan. So it was sort of like, well, I didn't really need to worry about it. Um, I mean, I, I kind of missed that a lot of the time. So. Nostalgia has been something that I've been quite wrapped up in, but there's also kind of a dark side to nostalgia, which is that uh, I think number one, it sort of it sort of warps your perception of a lot of different pieces of your past. Like I think the reason a lot of older generations tend to dislike, you know, the, the kids these days, the way kids these days kind of act, is they have a lot of nostalgia for the way they grew up and that nostalgia kind of ignores some of the harsher facts of the reality that people live. Like, um, you know, people often say, oh, well, when I was a kid, I used to just get to run around and, and whatever. But it's sort of like, yeah, but you're sort of forgetting how many of your friends probably got kidnapped or, or you know, abused in some way. And nostalgia kind of encourages you to forget those things. It encourages you to Forget the the grittier details of the past, but I think the other reason that nostalgia is kind of dangerous as a, a an emotion to sort of live in is that it kind of encourages you to live in the past and not live in the present. And I think um, often getting too wrapped up in you know what was kind of prevents you from living in what is now. And I totally understand it because like sometimes what's right now sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but you kind of always have to find a way to live in the present, even if uh, it isn't great. And sometimes that means kind of letting go of your nostalgia for the past. You know, under acknowledging it, understanding that it's there, but sometimes it's good to just kind of go, okay, that was a good point in my life, but we're going to make right now good too. Um, different, you know, you can't make the present the past, but you can make the present just as good in it different way. <laughs> this has been a very frank discussion of nostalgia brought to you by Folgers. Not a sponsor, just a fan. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like, maybe subscribing down below. I make videos like this every so often. So, in other words, I'll see you some other time.